This is part of a cooperative plan between the Army and American universities. Here at Fort Meade, it's the University of Maryland. But if you were at some other camp, you'd probably be able to enroll in some other university the same way. For almost all Army camps in this country are located near some college or university. And almost all those institutions cooperate with the Army by offering college courses to the soldiers right on the post. Another important point, Lieutenant, this isn't even going to cost you very much. The Army feels that it's so important for you to get a college education in order that you may do your job better that it will pay a part of your tuition fees. Now, let's look at the catalog and see what you should take. The University of Maryland conducts college courses for Army personnel not only at Fort Meade, but also at Army posts throughout Europe. So, even overseas, American soldiers may attend courses given by American universities. The American college campus today reaches as far as the lines of the American Army reach. Economics and a college survey of American literature have an authentic campus flavor wherever they are taught whether in the famed and hallowed old halls of Heidelberg, a building in the Canal Zone where Louisiana State University is the cooperating university, or an educational center in Tokyo. Throughout the Far East, soldiers are enrolled and studying through the University of California. The schoolhouse in the Army may be any shape and any size. But it's always right around the corner. Enrollment is easy. And wherever there is the will to learn, there are the tools for study. The Army educates not only its own, but also the children of its personnel overseas, in both the elementary grades and high school. In classrooms, on playgrounds, in Japan, in Germany, and wherever else the Army is stationed, American youngsters carry on their education. Their teachers meet regular American educational standards. The system of classroom instruction and even the habit of homework are the same as those in schools back home. But in addition to the basic educational standards, these students abroad are acquiring an invaluable background in human relations through the opportunity provided them to absorb new cultures. The desire for knowledge is one of the marks of man's nobility. If it is strength which keeps our nation free today, it is enlightenment which gives that freedom meaning. The Army, whose stock in trade is strength, puts faith in that quality of its men which makes good citizens and good soldiers alike, the desire to learn and to improve. To do its best by its citizen soldiers, the Army encourages their educational development on every level. A soldier masters the fundamental tools of learning and is salvaged from illiteracy. Another soldier receives from his high school the diploma he has earned by taking Yusafi courses. And overseas, a group of soldiers receive their college diplomas after years of serious study in the Army. And each time a prize of value is won. The Army wins a more valuable soldier and the nation wins a more valuable citizen. From the most elementary level of grammar school to a college education, 
Along this path of education, thousands of soldiers in your army are traveling today toward a better future for themselves and for us all. This is Sergeant Stuart Queen inviting you to be with us again next week for another look at the big picture, the United States Army in action. The Big Picture is a weekly television report to the nation on the activities of the Army at home and overseas. Produced by the Signal Corps Pictorial Center. Presented by the U.S. Army in cooperation with this station. You can be an important part of the big picture. You can proudly serve with the best equipped, the best trained, the best fighting team in the world today, the United States Army.